April is a big month for viewing waterfowl and sandhill cranes migrating north through Nebraska. And here's another suggestion for bird viewing spectacle few have seen, grouse dancing. Nebraska has two species of these birds, prairie chickens and sharp-tailed grouse. Every spring, these birds reconvene in the same area for courtship displays. These places are called leks, and the birds put on a show of clicking tail feathers, clucking, hoots, coos, squawks, jumping, and dancing. No sleeping in for this event, as you must be in a viewing blind well before dawn, as the birds are on site at first light. There are several free public viewing blinds and even outfitters and guide services for this nature show. Get yourself a copy of the current April issue of Nebraska Land Magazine for more information on this ritual and some places to see them. Or check out the issue digitally at NebraskaLandMagazine.com. The Nebraska Game and Parks is grateful for the outpouring offers of assistance from the public helping with the post-flood cleanup efforts. Game and Parks is continuing to accept such assistance, but are asking for notification from volunteers. Visit OutdoorNebraska.org slash volunteer to sign up and see possible cleanup opportunities across the state. Also at Nebraska.org, but this time slash weather closures. You'll find updated information on the status of parks. Over 50 were unaffected by the waters. Others incurred varying degrees of damage and may only be partially open. Again, OutdoorNebraska.org slash weather closures for more on those conditions. With the flooding, some have asked, how do the fish fare during such a natural disaster? Fishery biologists are reporting they typically survive these events, though there can be some losses when fish get washed into an area and stranded when the water recedes. The biggest concern is probably that undesirable invasive species like carp can get washed into waters where they were not previously present. There is some chance that those bodies of water would need some renovation and management work in the future. Reporting for News Channel Nebraska, in conjunction with the Nebraska Game and Parks, I'm Andy Klassen.